So, how to create a pivot table if there are four types of different file format in four different locations, like this diagram. You can easily access data and can create a single pivot table from these four types of files like Excel, Text, CSV and even PDFs. Let me show you. Open a new Excel workbook and go to data, click get data from file from Excel workbook and select the file. But you must save Excel workbook after converting from data range to tables. For example, this file using Ctrl plus T convert this data range to table. Then save it and close it. For CSV file, you don't need to do anything and other files both you and me cannot convert it into tables. So leave it as it is. Now in the new workbook, click get data from file from Excel workbook and select the file. It might take some time, don't worry, it depends on the processor speed and RAM etc. Now select table 1 and from here click load and load 2 and only create connection. Click OK. You can watch my previous tutorial video if you need more clarification in this process. We have successfully created a connection with that Excel file. Now. We will connect to another table in Excel which is not having all the column headers like first Excel. Don't need to think about the column headers. Follow the previous steps and create another connection. You can get the preview of the contents of these two tables. Just hover over the table names and see this table 1 has order ID, order date, ship date, customer name, region sales whereas in table 2, subcategory, product name, sales, region, order date, order ID. We have few common columns like region, sales and order date and we need these data from other files, PDF, CSV and text to create a pivot table. Ok, let's connect to another data set in text format. Very simple. Here is the option from text or CSV. If you don't find this option, click on get data from file and you will get this option. I will select text file and here is the data in preview mode. The column headers are also different from the earlier two tables. No problem. I will click on load then load to and will create another connection. Select only create connection and click OK. To connect CSV file, follow the same steps as we did in connecting text file. You can assume this as a text file and complete the previous steps. Now the last file is PDF. Let's check the file first. Open it and this is the data. I made it small for this tutorial. You can use larger files. Processing time will be higher. Close this file, go back to Excel, click get data and from file, click from PDF, select this file. This is the preview of our data set. Click load, then load to and only create connection and OK. We have successfully connected four types of files with different headers and these files are in different locations. Double click on any existing table connection. You will be directed to Power Query. Click on append queries and append queries as new. New append window pops up. It says concatenate rows from two tables into a single table because we have selected two tables option button. Click on three or more tables option. The text changes concatenate rows from three or more tables into a single table. In the right side already we have table one. Either you can delete this table or you can add remaining three tables. I prefer to remove this table and add all the tables. Click OK and you get your final table. Please note that Power Query is matching the columns by its own mechanism. And where there it finds no data, it fills that space or cell by null keyword. Remember null does not mean zero null means nothing now the last step click close and close and load to and if you need all the data in one table you can select this option 
if you need pivot table select pivot table report which i need here and click ok pivot table is created one thing i must share with you power query is really powerful i will show you in my next video why it is powerful the last to last step if you have any questions in your mind don't hesitate to ask me in the comment box i will definitely help you my level best don't forget to like and share thanks for watching till end